Ladies and gentlemen, today we are back on the Pokemon Double Battles. And boy, howdy, do I see a T-Tar already? A Decidueye? Let's see here. Winsmacot. I feel like that Winsmacot's gonna set up some Tailwind action. Kinda makes me want to bring in my own Winsmacot. I can set up Sunny Day. Knock out that Decidueye. Hurt the Lapras. However, it would help their Arcanine. I kind of just want to bring my Grimmsnarl, though. I love Grimmsnarl. I love bringing my Grimmsnarl. Being able to just Thunder Wave him. Probably Grimmsnarl and... We can just lead Dragapult that, honestly. And we're going to outspeed whatever they got going on. Obviously, as long as they don't Tailwind us. We can bring the Corviknight. And then we can bring... I don't want to bring Gastrodon. So Rotom. Rotom seems to be the play here. This should be a good team right here against against this team. How have you guys been? Last week on Friday, I was supposed to do my Pokemon video like I do on Fridays, but I ended up doing a Call of Duty video uh, because things got a little crazy. I lost track of time during this quarantine and um, got to record a Pokemon video. So that's awkward. Wait, is the game? Can you guys hear Oh, wait a minute. Why is the game... Hold on. Hold on. Now you guys should really hear the game. Right? No. No, we're gonna fix the game right now. Everyone hold... Everyone calm down. We're gonna fix this game audio. You guys are gonna be able to hear the game. Let's do that. It's gonna go black for a second. I'm wasting time. What do they lead with? Oh, there's the game sound. Dragapult and Winsmagon, huh? And then I want to do this. Let's do... Uh-oh. There we go. All right, that should be good. All right, all right, all right. There we go. Sound is back. Wow. Why did no one tell me that to be good? Okay, so here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to play this card. We're going to hit him Thunder Wave on the Dragapult. That way I can paralyze him, and then I can outspeed him, and then I can just Shadow Ball him. So we're going to delve up into this Dragapult slot, because I know he's going to Tailwind and hit my Dragapult, which I don't want. Yeah, that makes sense why I couldn't hear anything in the beginning. He's going to Dynamax the freaking Dragapult. I thought about Dynamax Dynamaxing mine, but I didn't want to. I just hope that I can... Well, no, I'll be... I just, okay, so I just need to paralyze the hit. I don't even need him to get full pair necess necessarily. I just have to outspeed him. So... Hopefully, my Thunder Wave will reduce the speed enough that the Tailwind won't matter that they're about to do. Yeah, that's a Tailwind. Thunder Wave is gonna... Is gonna miss. That's gonna be a knockout of my Dragapult, dude. Man, dude. The fact that Thunder Wave just missed hurts so bad. Okay, guys, just want you to know since I haven't Actually you know what? No. Life Orb. I'm I'm not gonna I'm gonna win this game. 100 percent I'm letting you guys know that right now. This game's gonna be a, a victory. I need to outspeed this. But I don't think I can, especially because he has tailwind. So I guess I have to go for the Rotom here. I don't want to do Corviknight because he could have Fire Blast. So I think Rotom's gonna be the play against this Dragapult. So now what we're going to do is we light screen here and then we Dynamax and then do we want to do a Max Flare? I don't really want to hit the Winsmacot though. So I think we just go for the Max Lightning onto the Dragapult. I just don't want to... I guess I can hit the Winsmacot. Yeah, it's, I guess it's better to hit the Winsmacot than to do... hit a not very effective move on the Dragapult, right? I know the Winsmacot's going to have this stupid Focus Sash or whatever the heck. But that's okay. We're going to have a light screen up now. And I know that they still have their Tailwind, which is A-OK. -okay. My light screen's going to go up first because the Prankster ability is incredible. So we're going to win this game, guys. I know that Dragapult knocked us out on turn one, but we're going to win this game, I'm telling you right now. Wait. Did my Dynamax not go through? Wait. <laughs> 
Why did my Dynamax not go? Did I accidentally hit B? Did I accidentally overheat? Instead of Max Flare or whatever? Huh. Huh. Okay, we got just got to thunder wave the dragon pole. Hope that hits. Now we're gonna really Dynamax this time, and we want to raise our defense, or do we want to raise our speed? We want to raise our speed. We'll hit for the. We'll go for the one spike hot again. I don't want to go raise our defense because he's special attacking. Now we have a Dynamax going, guys. I'm telling you right now that if you're watching this video, I'm I win. There's no way. There's no way I'm going to post this. If I just lost two mods two turns in a row and lose. Not happening. I guess unless I do another match after this. Got to keep you on your toes. Lead Seed? When the world are you trying to do Lead Seed to me? There we go. There's the Thunder Wave. If only I would have worked on turn one. There's that Max Flare I was talking about. Oh, we're big chilling though because we're Dynamax boy. And I have light screen up, so we're we're big living right there. Now the sunny day is here though, which is definitely terrifying. But we should be able to outspeed this dragon pole now. Now that he's paralyzed and we have max airstream, we should be able to start start out speeding here. So there you go, speed rose. And now, oh now we're I think we're in a good spot here now. He's out of Dynamax. Dragon pole is out of Dynamax turns. So now we can just play rough. The Dragon Pole, go for another max airstream on the Corviknight. Or on the Winsmakot here. I think this is going to be a good play right here. Dragon Pole's paralyzed. We have max airstream boost. Are we going to outspeed? They still have Tailwind up though, so maybe, probably not actually. It's Elite Seed. Okay, that's annoying, but that's okay. Yeah, he still goes first. We're still going to live that. Which is fine. This is good. We have another max airstream. So we're going to be plus two in speed now. So we should definitely outspeed this next turn. We'll get rid of the one spacot. Which sucks though. I can't swap out. I have this leech seed on me now. Okay. One spacot's gone. Corviknight's getting set up. Grimmsnarl connects with play rough. Does not knock out the Dragapult though. Ah, does not knock out the Dragapult though. I wish I could see my Pokemon stats. Okay, I definitely got out of speed because their Tailwind's gone. They don't have Winsmacon anymore. So who'd you bring? Lapras? I would love to max Steel Spike a Lapras. T-Tar. Can't I... No, wait. Steel doesn't. Sandstream. Sandstream's good because it gets rid of that Sunny Day. That's good for me. Uh, so what do we do here? Do we just play rough the T-Tar? And then finish off this. Oh, no. It does. Steel does. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So let's go back. We're going to play rough the Dragapult. Hope that connects. And then we can Steel Spike. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get confused with T-Tar. He's a... Uh, what is he? He's a rock. He's rock and dark, right? Or is he ground? I always get confused whether he's rock or he's ground. Dude, that doesn't knock out. Jeez Louise. That does not knock out, huh? That's okay, though. So we got two max airstreams and a, a plus defense. He just got weakness policy. Son of a gun, dude. Oh, I hate weakness policy. I should have doubled up into the him. I should have doubled up into him. Man, dude, I forgot. I don't know why. I just don't expect every T-Tar. Every T-Tar has weakness policy. I need to know that. Why do I not know that? He's going to knock out the Grim Snarl here. Man. Okay. That's okay. He got a crit. All right, so Corviknight now finds himself in a 1v2 scenario against a T-Tar, which is um, fairly weak. However, I'm lead seeded. So if I knock out the T-Tar, does the lead seed go away, or is the, that lead seed going to go into the next mod? That lead seed, huh? Let's see, what do we want to do here? Lapras. So Lapras is, has the ice, which is a little bit annoying, obviously. But I think we're still going to be fine here. I mean, I think we're still good. I think if we just Iron Head the T-Tar, knock him out right now. Because we know we outspeed him. Roost next turn. 
I don't. I can't roost this turn because then they'll just double into me. I have to knock out the T tar this turn. I can't roost this turn, so now it's just a one on one. Did I? Am I making this comeback? Am I making this comeback right now? He's gonna thunderbolt. Why do you have thunderbolt for? You're a freaking fish. Why do you have thunderbolt? Now, this, do you get leech seed from me? I get leftovers, so I don't think you do. I think lead seed's gone. I think I just got rid of your lead seed. Oh no, dude. I totally just won this game. There's nothing you can do. I have Roost. What do you have? Thunderbolt, dude? I'm a Corviknight. I'm a thick Corviknight. Dude, guys, we might have choked so hard turn one and turn two, but we just won this game. He's being buffeted by the Sandstorm. I know the Sandstorm's going to go away. Sure, he has Thunderbolts. Uh, he could paralyze me, though. He could paralyze. So we're not out of the clear yet. We still have to play smart. So what I'm going to do now is pretty obvious, I think, which is roost and bulk up until I can just one shot. I think that's probably a pretty obvious play. What I'm going to do, I have leftovers and uh, I'm going to beat this guy with a full team of shinies. I'm going to knock out his shiny boys and we're just going to uh, actually do we even waste the time doing that. We should just iron head actually and get a flinch, right? Why? Do yeah, we don't even need to bulk up. Let's just flinch him. Because we're going first. Lapras is a slow boy, and I got two airstreams. Yeah, we just let's just put. Oh, that does nothing. Flinch though, right? No flinch. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna play safe. We're gonna bulk up just because of he. That does like so little. Like, I would really, really have to have it flinch for that to do anything. So, let's just bulk up one or one or two times. We're not gonna bulk up all the way, but at least here, if we bulk up. Our Iron Heads will do more damage. And we can bulk up now while we're not paralyzed yet. You know what I'm saying? Because once I get paralyzed, I don't I don't think I even want to wait. If I get paralyzed right here, then I'm not going to bulk up anymore. I don't want to get, you know, like the few moves I have go through. I don't want them to be bulk ups. I want them to be roosts for sure. So I f is this guy just going to quit? I mean, what are you going to do? Actually, he doesn't even see that I have bulk up yet. But he does see that I have Roost, and he probably, I definitely obviously, like, with the amount of PP I have on my Corviknight, I have way more than his Thunderbolt's going to be, so. He does have Ice Beam, though, so don't paralyze, and I should be good. So now, we're going to get a nice free Roost off before he paralyzes me, because the risky play would just be to go for an Iron Head here. Yeah, now my light screen's gone. Definitely have to go for the roost now, actually. Ooh, I forgot I had light screen. That was helping me a ton there. So, yeah, this Thunderbolt's gonna start doing some more damage, huh? So now I definitely have to hope he does not paralyze me. So that way I can Iron Head make him flinch. I have to Iron Head make him flinch. Don't... Okay, so I'm still good. I paralyzed. He did paralyze. He's probably going to outspeed me now, even though I have two airstreams. Let's see. Let's see if he still outspeeds. Because if he outspeeds, then this one's going to be rough. I have to outspeed, man. I have to outspeed here, please. Because if I outspeed, yes. Okay, if he outsped me, then I'd be in trouble. He could just, like, just keep thunderbolting me while I'm paralyzing. He's like, here's the thing, Strike. So check out this scenario. If y'all sped me here, then I would have to roost right now because I couldn't take a chance of my roost not going through next. Where right now I can just iron head and I can roost next turn. Where obviously it's like kind of the same thing. I just hope that my paralyze doesn't go through twice, like on the second turn, but we're good. Still not a single. So now it's actually kind of scary here. Because now. Ow. Here's the deal. I have to go for an Iron Head. Because if I paralyze on a Roost, I go down. If I paralyze on an Iron Head, I go down. If I live the Roost, then I live. But if I land the Iron Head, then I win instead of live. So I please don't paralyze. Oh, please. Dude, there's no way 
that I had that bad of luck. Man, dude. Ah! There's literally no way. You know what? I said I'm not going to post this video unless I win. I'm posting that video. There's literally no way that I had that bad of luck. I didn't get a single Iron Head flinch, and he got the Paralyze right on the exact turn he needed the Paralyze. There's literally no way. Ah! Uh, well, that's Pokemon. That is why I can't I can't play Pokemon. I love Pokemon, but because of stuff like that, just pure luck, man. Oh! That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys for stopping by. I will see you guys all in the next one. Goodbye.